Oh, I squeeze. Just Floris, don't just like back raise King Queen and win, you know? It would be so painful. We're down to 28 here. Oscar goes all in and makes it really simple for us. We're flipping. Too bad. Come on, let's go! Oh, sick run out, sick run out, sick run out. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Pokestables channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Holy smokes, we got a big day planned today. We are playing the $1,050 grand, going for our fifth cash in a row. That would be pretty hype to do it five in a row. I mean, not expected. Tough tournament, would love to do it again. So uh, that's the plan. Let's get into it. Uh, Queen 10. So I'm gonna go half half here. I'm not sure if I love three betting this hand at the stack depth, but it just feels intuitively a little bit too tight to just fold against the cutoff open. And also being in a higher stakes tournament, people used to perceive me and I think still do perceive me as like just a little bit tight, you know? Like a player that a player that like they're not like I'm not gonna punt off my stack to them, you know? But like also I'm a little bit tight, so they, you know, probably may raise my big blind a little bit extra or whatever. You know, I think I'm changing my game to where that's not a fair perception anymore, but that's what people think. So three betting with that in mind, I think is a good thing to do, you know? Uh, we fold here. It's gonna be really tough uh, just against Jiao, but once we see the four bet, it's very clear. All right, we get down and back to the 1K. We raise, get a call from Jiao, and king in three. Check call with nines. We, we are gonna still see bet here some, you know? We have a stronger range than Jiao in general. They're going to have some suited kings here, some suited aces here and stuff. Uh, obviously, we're losing to the kings, and we have very little outs against that. Against the ace-x, we're doing just fine. So I think check call is the right start to this uh, hand. Turns a five. Check. It was check, check. Ten of clubs in the river. Uh, do we want to block or not? Yeah, I'm going to block bet. I think it's fine. We win. Great news. We call against Justin. We may eight is eights are really good here, and we're gonna be bidding small pairs, which are gonna shove for the sizing. So we gotta gamble. Seven. Come on, let's go. Big hold against the Ace King chat. So first thought is to check raise here. I mean, where it gets dangerous, it ooh, I bet quite large. Do we still want to check raise? I mean, we want to continue. I'm just trying to figure out if we want to check raise or check call. I'm trying to think about what is better, like what flushes are better to call and check raise. Mostly our check raising bluffs are going to be flush draws. Uh, so let's go for check raise here. Now the thing with check raising this is if they come over the top and shove, we cannot call. Like we most definitely can't because they can just have higher flush draws, right? King 10 suited. <laughs> so this is actually a shove if Renan isn't here. With Renan here, it makes it quite awkward. I think I'm gonna call, reason being, I don't really want to three bet fold King 10 suited here. You do three bet a lot in the small blend. This is actually one of those rare boards where I should lead some. In theory, I'm not going to. I'm going to check. I'm going to check call here with King 10. But I, I also don't think Lucas is going to bet that often because this is such a good card for us in the small blind, right? We have so many King X hands, so we call. Okay, and Renan over calls. We have a Jack in the turn. We check again. So our range is kind of protected here, right? We call on the flop. When they bet in the turn, it's quite dangerous. I still think we need to call with King 10. Uh, do we play any raises here? I think we call. I do think we can start to raise on the turn some in this position, but in our factor, our actual hand, I think is, is correct. Run on over calls. The question is, do we want to bluff here? We can represent seven, eight suited. The problem is like we would be betting into two uncapped ranges, in which case they can have flushes and straights. And the likelihood of Renan having a flush here is pretty reasonable, I think. So I think we should check and we just lose the pot, I think, unfortunately. I think it's pretty likely Renan has a flush. And and Lucas could be betting some flush draws that are like middling, you know? Like 10 high flush draws, 9 high flush draws, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah, and that's a flush. Uh, we see bet with the kings. See, I don't know if I should be see betting this. Like there's a chance I should be checking it. Uh, they call, turns a jack, we check. We probably lose here, right? Most likely. We're not going to get all the money unless it's a king on the river. We're probably losing. If Anti Z has an ace, I would assume that most of the time they're going to try and show down here with a6. Their bluffs are going to be tens and nines and eights that decide to call the flop, which is quite optimistic. And then we have two outs against Queen X and Jack X. I think we should probably call one here in that there is some small chance they have tens, nines, eights. There's some small chance they decide to, you know, block bet ace high and then check on the river. So getting four to one, I think it's okay. And now we just lose. 
And again, I don't think it makes any sense to bluff because they either have a full house or they just made an ace. And so we can try and bluff an ace, but we don't know if it makes up enough of their range to even make sense. You know what I mean? So yeah, we fold. We're all in with aces. Or do we slow play this time? No, nah, I'm going to go all in. Especially in a bounty, I think the chances we get called is pretty reasonable. In a higher stakes tournament where they're going to call correctly. Are we back to starting stack? We are. Plus a little bit, chat. 530. We're printers. And we have nines in the big blind. We're going to call here. And start with a check. Probably check raise there, to be honest. But it goes check, check. Uh, so I'm thinking I'm going to block bet the river. Against kings. Fair enough. Call. We call with aces here. We always call with aces. We don't need any more info. We need no nine or king. That sucks. We lose with aces. Victor Milanowski. Limitless. Very, very good player. Calls here. Um, and we get called by king seven. And we're against aces. This is good. We need a queen. Uh, GG, guys. 93rd. We're not going to cash in the grands. <laughs> it's just... It, it's banter, bro. It's banter on several levels, you know? People that watch it honestly, honestly, with... with complete vulnerability and integrity and then there's people that watch it ironically and then there's people that watch it non-ironically but aware of sort of the sort of bizarre world in which it lives in you know there's just there's a lot of different choices for her, for how you go about viewing love island which i think is why it's so successful because it appeals to a teenage demographic for different reasons than a late 20s de demographic than a older demographic and no matter how old or young you are people are attractive on the show so it's just like an interesting just a, it's just an interesting show dude so please don't judge me for just name dropping an author but haruki murakami i really like his books i've read four of his books now i think this is my fifth killing commentador colorist colorless sakuru tazaki norwegian wood and sputnik sweetheart i'm reading the fifth one right now that i've ever read in my life uh, after about the third one, so I've been loving it, and I'm on page 330. Our schedule-ish for this book club is about 40 pages a day. We started with 25 pages a day. We, we increased the speed because we were enjoying the book. So we're up to 40 pages a day. So 370 tomorrow, 410 Tuesday, 450, and then finish. But I really don't want to wait. I just want to finish the whole thing. Raise call squeeze. We have to fold 70 zooted. Um, so quite close here. I think I'm going to call. Sam plays really well if Bernardo squeezes, right? It's fine. 3-5-7 to flop. We start with a check call. We're going to have days where we don't play great and we don't win. We're going to have plays we don't play great, but we win. I mean, that's all reasonable and human and normal and onwards we roll, you know? What else can we do? The last table of Christmas. <laughs> stupid. That's a stupid thing to say. A stupid joke. It's a Polar Express reference chat in July. Okay. We're going to call this all in though. I actually went through this list so that I can make sure I got them all. How about some clubs? Clubs? Not today, dude. Not today. I am so bad with movies, man. I'm not a huge movie buff. Run it. Queens against nines. This is for a lot of chips, man. 600K. All right. Okay. Can we win the 215 World Cup of Cards Toronto Turbo? And also, if we do win, am I the king of Toronto? <laughs> I'm just kidding, Toronto. Okay. We all know that's Drake. <laughs> Here we go. Ace Jack, King Jack. Nice spot. 11 off the money. Good start. Okay. Okay. Come on, chat. Can we win this, dude? Please. We're on the bubble. Of this day saver, Toronto Turbo, man. Toronto Turbo. 8 of 41. 6 deuce. Piece of junk. It sucks. Let's bluff. We pretend. So that's some checks. Um... I think mostly bet here, and bet we will. 
And now we've got an absolute beauty, the queen and the queen chat. Oh man, you do love to see this hand. It's so nice. So the plan is gonna be to three bet everyone at the table, right? It gets a little messy if we get a three bet from someone before this player, but uh, yeah. I think they have 35 blinds. I think we just three bet, call a four bet all in, and that's that. Sizing wise, just a tiny little bit less than four X given the stacks I think is okay. And that if they call, you know, there's two bets until it's all in. But we take it. Okay. Oh my jacks. Love it. We raise. Potential shove action from these two. I, I guess these three, it's very clear all in situations, right? Against Pete Peterson, we probably wouldn't go for the four bet all in for 53 blinds. We'd probably just call and play post flop. Against Pav and the big blind, similar thing. Although. I think I'd be a little bit more likely to four bet all in against Pav because I think that his three betting range of the big blind is going to be really good and optimal. Uh, and then also jacks don't flop as well. We do get a three bet here. So we're going to call and let's see what happens, man. Let's see how it goes. Now, if Pav does something crazy, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> all right, Pav folds, we call. Let's see a flop. Not a very good flop. Ace, eight, nine. They're three bidding a range in the small blind. It's gonna contain some suited connectors, gonna contain some suited aces, gonna contain some broadways. Uh, it's gonna be a nice mix of, of sort of everything. Quite a small bet here. I think in position, we still get the call. We're getting over four to one. We need 20% equity. They have an ace, we don't have 20%, uh, but they still have some hands that we're beating here. Um, so we call one and see what develops, but obviously we're not happy. It's just too cheap in position to fold. And check, do we want to bluff? It's gotta be somewhat close to turn jacks and tens into bluffs, to be honest. It'd be nice if we had a diamonds. I don't really know what my bluff should be here, but we win and I think we call. It's unfortunate because like, we're excited to play for stacks with eights against these three opponents, but against an under the gun raise, we don't have that option anymore. So we just call. But if it goes squeeze folds, we call. If it goes squeeze folds, we call. I think, yeah, for 28, we do. But they will fold. We're gonna flop. Jack four deuce, two clubs. Check. I think check check is okay here. Pot we call. Really good run out. We lose the aces, kings, queens. Ace jack and king jack going for check raises. Maybe jack ten goes for check call and then decides to bet big. But in general, we really love this run out. I think it's a clear call. Yeah, let's go. I'm actually gonna raise ten six here. It's a garbage hand. But I think they want to play really tight in the bubble. I think Doug Dale is also going to fold really tightly because everyone wants to cash the tournaments. So, yeah, I'm going to raise super wide and try and get a steal in here. Let's see. Dimitri calls in the small blind. Okay. This is good for us because I think, although Dimitri likely has a pretty decent hand, I think they're going to be forced to fold a lot on the turn. It's just like they don't want to bust on the bubble. But we end up flopping top pair, which is great. We bet on the flop. Bet big on the flop and check the turn probably makes sense given the situation here. I mean, theory would not say to bet big on the flop, but this is an adjustment for the bubble, which is that we often want to put pressure on here. I was going to check this turn, but now we make two pair, so. Mm. Let's go, dude. Come on! Oh, you love to see it, dude. The bubble has burst. We're in the money. Two milli. Whoo! You like that, Doug? Let's send him the cheers. Look at you, Doug, <laughs> making it in there. All right, we're in the lead. Jack three diamonds, we're gonna fold. We get three bet, very small by the way. It's a great time to flop a set, poker gods. No set. So it's a little bit awkward here. We are in position quite deep. I think I should peel. In that they made such a small three bet preflop, there's not that much money in the middle yet with this hand. This card is bad. We beat ace king, we beat ace jack, we beat king jack, we beat small pairs that are being weird. We don't beat queen eight though. Pocket tens, Oscar goes for the raise. We love this hand. Oh, it's so nasty against Floris, bro. Because when we squeeze here, which we want to do, and then Floris just freaks out and shoves, what are we supposed to do? That's the thing. But the thing is, I do think we have to squeeze. Based on what I've seen Floris do so far, I don't think they're capable of having nutted hands here. I just don't think it's really possible. Oh, bro, it's so sick though. Oh, I squeeze. Just Floris, don't just like back raise king queen and win, you know? It would be so painful. We're down to 28 here. Oscar goes all in and makes it really simple for us. We're flipping. Too bad. Come on, 
Ryan, let's go. Oh, sick run out, sick run out, sick run out. We win the flip the fun way chat. We're down to four tables, 2.1 million. Puts us back in the lead by a lot, by the way. 500K, this is second place. Who? Who? Let's go. King five, we raise, get it in and fold here. All right, four, three of clubs. Good hands. We have floors covered. I don't want a three bet for, I think, obvious reasons. So we call, we'll see a flop. We have an open ender to the nuts. Now, <laughs> just give us the nuts, poker gods, please. Please, it's such a good spot to make the nuts. In theory, by the way, we should check raise four three here, but again, I'm, I'm choosing a different line because we've just seen floors play weird with like small, weird three bets, you know? Uh, we pick up a pair of fours, good enough to have some showdown value, plus we still have the open ender. Call again, and we lead. I don't want to risk a check back here from a strong hand from Flores, so we're going to bet about half pot. Ranges are wide here, you know? I mean, I think it's interesting against a raise, but the deeper they get into the time bank, the less likely I think like 7 8 is, right? Nice. We got a call. I don't know what by. Uh, let's 3 bet here. <laughs> As I say that, it's a good spot to 3 bet though, because we're expecting to be all in against Hasmark. Right, so they've got to know that we're going to be all in against Hasmark, and it's not a great hand to call King Ten offsuit. It's not amazing, you know. It plays okay, but probably better as a three bet. And a long thing to call a seven three all clubs. I think it's just like a small bet, you know, small bet here. And I think we just lose. It's it's tough to it's tough to reasonably expect that we can bluff well here. They probably have a suited ace most likely. Uh, Quarantine, have Queen Jack with the Queen of Clubs. <laughs> or King Five suited. Something. Oh, bro. We haven't been winning very many pots recently. Now everyone's deep at our table as well, right? So we've got a bit of battling to do. Ace three suited. We raise. Leo Sir goes for the call. Bruh. We fold. That's a huge shove. Fives are great. Very much like fives. It's just not quite a jam against Florentine. We don't call very much at all in the small blind. We mostly three bet, uh, but they fold. So ICM would say to raise here in that there's payout pressure on our opponents, you know, covering them. Also, I kind of like this with fives and that we can get them to fold hands that have equity for sure. Nine of four, check call to start. Let's start with that. Check call. Because check, check, deuce on the turn. Uh, I'm going to check again. I mean... There's definitely arguments to be made on both sides of like, we like value betting against worse hands and protecting it against worse hands and stuff like that. But I think like fives is okay to check here. Uh, jack on the end, block bets is good. We're gonna block bets. I expect that we get paid by a four or a deuce. It's pretty unlikely that they have a seven or a nine checking on flop and turn, right? Sometimes they hit a jack, but it's really hard to raise a jack if they're in this spot. So we're gonna block bet for 105. Nice. Beautiful. Now against this player, we don't actually want to 3-bet them because it becomes a big ICM error if we get it all in. Uh, Tomas raises. I mean, it, it is really quite awkward against them, but now it's not awkward. We just, we're just all in. Good luck, chat. The cold 4-bet for a lot of chips, dude. This is going to be a really, really big pot with a lot of money on the line. How are we going to do? I don't know. Good luck. Okay, good start. Come on, let's go! Barry, I love you, Barry! Bro, I mean, it's just like, I look at this, and I'm just like, I want to shove, you know? I think we raise fold to both. This is pretty painful, you know? It sucks to raise fold a pair like this. Oh, but they three bet less than all in, so we call. This is great, okay? Let's see a flop. Check from Fabiano. I do like denying equity here. I'm going to bet really small, though. Very, very small. With a pair of fives. Check, check. Hope they just have, I don't know, ace jack or something. Good hands. Uh, it's a hand we can raise call against Christopher. And against a three bet less than all in, we can probably call. We don't really want a four bet Emmanuel here. Uh, they jam. We fold. It's unfortunate, but I think that this is just going to be like ace-king and ace-queen and like tens and jacks and stuff. It's just not correct to call here. And against Leo Sir, we raise here. It gets very uncomfortable against an all-in jam, but a fold. It's a raised fold to a 33 blind jam. 
because of ICM, right? Like we don't want to take an ace jack against the shoving range where we have just barely over 50%. They threw a bit less than all in, which is uncomfortable. Mm, we got to think here. So shoving is bad. It's either a call or a fold. Shoving is a problem because they're not going to call with ace-10. So we are shoving into better hands and or getting bluffs to fold. But being out of position sucks, too. I think it's probably a call and then play a flop. Yeah. I mean, no ICM, it's clearly a call or shove. With ICM, it's a little different, but I'm going to call. We're net on nine, by the way. We just had a bust out ace-10 against kings here. Ace-jack, two pair. We beat ace-king now, by the way, which is great. I think we want to bet reasonable size here. There's a lot of stuff we can get value from. It's, it's almost like I want to shove to deny equity, actually. The thing is, I really hate when, like, spades get to call for half pot, you know, getting three to one. King-queen even gets to call. Like, we make a bit of value, but it's really painful when they get there. We get punished. I think it's just a shove over bet slightly. I don't know if we're balanced here. Right. Like, surely if we're going to choose an overbet size, it can't be our only size. And we, do we want to do this? Do we have bluffs reasonably that can shove here? Like, King Jack suited? Maybe. But it's tough, you know? Jack 10 suited? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Final table hype of the $215 World Cup of Carbs Toronto Turbo. <laughs> World Cup of Cards, not carbs, bro. <laughs> I've lost my voice, but we're coming in three of seven. Let's go. 1257 cash. You can see all the payouts in the bottom left. There's no knockouts. Tens. Pretty good. Raise. Call a three bet from the bigger stacks. Limp. I like it. I like the limp here, actually. We just have to be really careful, you know? Our hand plays really well against an ISO, against a shove from these two. It's okay. But no one raises. This is not ideal. Kek442. I can't really do a hand review right now. After we can do it, though. Send it on Discord. Folds. Jack6. We fold to the limp here. Renato's all in over the limp. Wow, that's crazy. We're down to six. Holy smokes, king of the river. King five suited, we're gonna fold. Pay jump up to 15.56, nice to get one out. Ace, queen, sevens, sevens win, okay? Well, look at this. Just like that, we're down to five. Quick bust, 2,000 cashed. Check back. In a clear fourth place, very clear, you know? Call them in bets. Nice thing is the payout pressure is getting a lot less. The difference between uh, fifth and fourth is $700, but, you know, we are at a big disadvantage to everyone else here. We call these min bets down. What is, what is this? Is this what, is, what is this? Okay. We raise folds? Yeah. Raise, call a shove from Christopher, of course, and then just fold to jam here. And we get a call. King Jack Deuce on the flop. I think, in theory, we mostly want to check here because of the stack situation. Check again, one street of value, protect against busting and getting check raised by, you know, club draws and whatever. I think bet fold to a raise is pretty reasonable. If we get check raised here, sick bluff, you know, but like we call, or we fold, excuse me, we don't call, we fold. Awesome, awesome, okay. Five left, Christopher's really short, five blinds deep. And we're down to four with this stack situation. We're in a good spot, man. Why is it called the Toronto Turbo? The World Cup of Cards has had a bunch of themes around playground poker. So it's had the Kanawaki, it's had the Quebec Open, it's had the Montreal Open, and now this is like a side event named after Toronto. Christopher doubles up. That's not good news for us, right? They're up to 1.4 million. Uh, we would have preferred they just busted so that we didn't have any payout pressure, but we now have payout pressure. Still, not a huge deal. Again, I mean, first place is 8,000. We've guaranteed 2,000, so there's 6,000 left uh, to play for here. And the difference between the two of us and fifth and fourth is 700 bucks. So we still get to be aggressive and try and chip up here. But there is still ICM. Even on last place, there's ICM. It's a misconception that like, oh, you're in last, there's no ICM. No, that's not how it works. You can be in last place and first knocks out second, you ladder, you know? Like everyone feels ICM. Uh, so this is close. You might be able to shove here. I'm gonna fold because I think they're raising into chip leader and two reshove stacks. You know, one of our weaker hands here. I think fold's okay. Raise call. Just don't shove on me, Emmanuel, please. People can three bet less than all in. I don't mind. I just don't want to see a shove. Ugh, man. 
so I think it's reasonably close. By the book, it's definitely a call. I'm just trying to think about what I think Alexander's range is going to look like. And it probably includes Ace-10 suited, Ace-Jack offsuit plus. It probably includes fives plus, I would guess. It probably has King-Queen suited and King-Jack suited and stuff. Even though they are shoving for 34 blinds through Manuel, Ace-Queen suited is quite strong. But there is payout pressure here too. So it's on the line. Ace-Jack suited is not a, not a call. It's just not. It's really on the line here. I, I think we call. GG. GG. Fifth place for 2000. Um, I don't know. There's not a lot to, good to say about that. I mean, it's just like nice score. We end up stuck in the day, unfortunately. Uh, it sucks that it ends like that, but it does. We're going to be back tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow the stream if you're new here. Appreciate you all. But until then, we'll see you later. Goodbye.